Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Taylor, and I'm making this video for orientation to the counseling profession at Carolina University. For this project, the specialty area of counseling which I have chosen is college counseling. This video will briefly give some statistics relating to the college counseling field and also explain what college counselors do as well as some of the pros and cons of being a college counselor. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says that, in total, there are around 333,000 school counselors in the USA in 2019. For this job, a master's level degree in school counseling or a related field is required for entry-level college counselors, although further education would certainly be a boost for job prospects. So a student just graduating from high school can expect at least five or six years of further education before becoming a college counselor. Besides this, obtaining state-issued credentials is also necessary. Some states require licensure for career counselors as well. Newkrug, on page 8 of his textbook, says that usually college counselors will have taken specialty coursework in college student development and student affairs practices and may have attended a 48-credit-hour KCREP accredited program. KCREP stands for Council for Accreditation of Counseling and Related Educational Programs. It would be very beneficial for a college counselor to be accredited with KCREP. Newkrug also notes that individuals who go through a KCREP accredited student affairs and college counseling program can become NCCs, and in most states with additional coursework, they can obtain their LPC. Students of college counseling should also be familiar with the two main professional associations of counselors in higher education settings. First, there is the College Student Educators International. This organization was formerly the American College Personnel Association, but has kept the acronym ACPA. The ACPA tends to focus on administration of student services. Secondly, the American College Counseling Association which is the division of ACA, tends to focus on counseling issues in college settings. Today, one can join ACCA without joining the ACA. The Bureau of Labor Statistics also says that college counselors can expect an average salary of $57,000 per year, or about $27 per hour. Job prospects are also positive for the college counseling field, since the field is projected to grow by 8% from 2019 till 2029 which is classified as much faster than usual. Therefore, college counselors should easily find work. The college counseling field is growing so rapidly because student enrollment is increasing. So what exactly does working as a college counselor look like? Newquick says on page 8 that college counselors work in a variety of settings in higher education, including college counseling centers, career centers, residence life, student advising services, multicultural student services, and other campus settings where counseling-related related activities occur. The size of the college a person works at also has a large influence on what a college counselor will do. Erford writes on page 291 that the typical day-to-day -day roles depend on the type of institution and the size of the counseling staff. Counselors who work at community colleges and small college counseling centers may find that they are expected to take on non-counseling roles, such as academic advising and administration and management duties. College counselors who work in a center with many other counselors are more likely to define a specialty area of counseling for themselves over time, for example, a specialist in eating disorders, substance abuse, grief and loss, or anxiety and depression. Therefore, the setting where a professional college counselor works may differ from workplace to workplace. If the workplace is small, the college counselor may do a plethora of different tasks, while the same counselor may be able to focus on a specialty in the field at a larger institution. However, working at a smaller college should not necessarily be viewed as negative, since a counselor will then be able to serve and counsel students in other ways. For instance, counselors can help students in the academic setting by focusing on time management skills. But because there can be some variation in expectations of college counselors, some may view the specialty area of counseling to be less appealing. However, working with college students can be fulfilling since they are typically at the beginning of their professional lives and counselors can have a strong effect on the formation of these college students since they are coming to college counselors for advice on whatever issues they have at the moment. So to conclude, I'm going to give a brief summary of the basic points from this presentation. The college counseling field employs around 333,000 people. 
A college counselor is expected to have a master's degree in school counseling or a related field. Counselors should also expect to obtain state-issued credentials, while some states require career college counselors to be licensed. And since a master's degree is expected, someone looking to be a college counselor should expect to be in school for at least five or six years after graduating high school. The work which college counselors will do depends on the size of the college or university. Those working at smaller workplaces will be expected to do more varied tasks, such as at academic advising and other administrative tasks. While those working at larger institutions may focus on a specialty in college counseling, College counselors can enjoy an average salary of $57,000 per year, and job prospects are looking very positive. Since the size of the college or university makes a difference in the day-to-day -day life of a college counselor, each person should weigh the pros and cons of working as a college counselor at a smaller or bigger institution. For me, I am studying Christian ministries, so I would not choose to study the specialty of college counseling. A more relevant topic for me would be pastoral counseling or couples, family, or marriage counseling. But thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.